Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another video. Um, I got my hair in a different style today. Also wearing a bit of makeup, look at my eyelashes. I'm starting to wear thick eyelashes, but this is not the point of the video. Point of the video, if you haven't already guessed by the title, seen by the title, guessed by the title. Seen by the title is things that help me when my anxiety and panic attacks slash mental health is or is at the worst so yeah so when my mental health is like really bad like it can last months and like yeah then these are the things that help me i have like a boyfriend and a family and i have a couple apps so you as well out so i have downstairs so i'll keep playing on things um, so I'll also insert like a screen recording of the apps that I'm going to talk you, talk to you about. But yeah, some of them have recently deleted, so I won't. I'll talk about them, but I can't literally show you them because obviously I don't have them no more. Because I don't think it was working out for me with them ones. But yeah, without further ado, let's get onto the video. Like the button to let me know you liked it. Subscribe and turn the notification bell on, and um, but yeah, comment down below any video ideas as well. So I'm gonna start off with like who helps me through the worst times. So number one, let's let's start with let's say my family and friends. Friends are basically don't have any friends, so <laughs> let's not talk about friends because they say the debt there for me. But when I really need them at my worst point, they're not there. Like I can message them and they just, they open them, but don't reply to me. I'm like, okay, thanks. So you're going to be there for me. You say, oh, you, I'm, I'm there for you, I'll help you. Answer your messages and help you through it then. Did it ignore me? Or you replied to me and I get one message and then I reply back and then I don't get no message back. I just start my boyfriend, eh? Number one person that will help me is my boyfriend. My boyfriend, um, I'm up and down his own, by the way. Um, he is amazing with helping me with my mental health. Um, I absolutely cannot live without him. If he wasn't here helping me through my worst times, then I don't know what I would do. Um, he helped me by telling me to do my breathing exercises on like the app, what, what I'm going to talk about. Um, do my birthing exercises and think of a happy place that I can go to because that sort of calms me down as well. So when I think of my happy place, um, it's with like my nephews and Ryan. I'm going to name him with Ryan and like my little doggies like Pepper and Prince and Ryan, my nephews and etc. But yeah, that's my happy place. Never leaves if. I'm like really bad with my mental health. He doesn't leave until like I'm okay and like I'm calm and I'm not gonna harm myself. But yeah, he doesn't leave my side until I'm okay. And obviously I'm not a threat to myself because yeah, that is another thing about what this. At my worst I do think about things that I shouldn't. But yeah. He is there for me, he supports me through it, he helps me through it, he tells me to breathe and to calm down, I tell me to calm, think of a happy place. So I want, I'm so lucky to have him in my life, so thank you and I love you. People that help me is, um, help me be, to, to be calm and what, in my mum and my niece. My niece, um, so he only comes on a weekend, so Friday to Sunday, she goes on Friday. She comes Friday, goes on Sunday. Um, and obviously when I'm at my work and I'm having a panic attack and an anxiety attack and I'm crying and whatnot, she comes over to me and gives me cuddles and tells me everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about anything. And she tells me that she loves me. So that helps. Um... And again, with my mum, she tells me to do my breathing exercises, well, to focus on my breathing, um, go on my app, I'm going to tell you about, like I just said, and, and do 
the breathing exercises and uh, where, where the person talks to you and it helps you calm down. I don't know what visually you call that, but I'll, yeah, she helps me when I'm struggling and yeah. I can't thank them three there. Um, I can't thank enough, and also my wife and family as well. But mainly my boyfriend and my mum. Yeah, yeah. Without them, I don't know where I would be. Um, like I said, I can't thank them enough. Um, I would talk about my friends helping me through it, but my friends, oh, sorry, my so-called friends who say, oh yeah, when you're down and at your worst just message and will help i was feeling down a couple of weeks ago i was i have up and downs some days i can have, i can go like weeks without having like a really 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 bad mental health days and then i can go through days where it's like good um but yeah when um the last time i had a mental health like a really really like a bad mental health days months weeks whatever um i wanted my friends well so called friends to you know check up on me and ask how I am. Don't like to say, oh, yeah, I'll, we'll message you every day and ask you how you are. Where's the message? You're supposed to be my friends, you're supposed to be there for me, but they don't, so I don't really class them as my friends because when your friends are supposed to be there for each other and help each other through the worst time. Yes, some you might suffer with it as well, but not as bad as me. Because now I am currently on tablets and and I am waiting on my phone call assessment to hopefully please get therapy to help. Therapy. And um, so yeah, I'm waiting on that. It's on the 27th of this month. I'm waiting for the phone call for that one. Um and yeah they're gonna be there for me if they've been there once or twice and then after that nope no contact no message asking are you okay are you being fine is your mental health being okay um blah 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 but yeah now i'm going to talk about the apps the apps that i use is um, one i got recommended by a doctor who was on the phone to and i think that's the only one yeah, so I found just one and then obviously the rest I've got myself and whatnot and I've read the reviews. But the first one is the one the doctor told me to get is called Mind Shift. I'll insert like a little screen recording of my like of what it is. But yeah. I got it like I'm reading off because I've written it all down because I would have forgot. Um I got recommended this from my doctor to give it a go and to be honest I actually really like it i use it every day um you can Calm submit breathing. how you Breathe feel pleasure. on a, like a day like every Take day you small, can smooth go on and obviously if you're in a bad like your anxiety is bad then you can put like awful or great um set goals that you would like to achieve my goals is i would like to go out of the house on my own for like 10 minutes if that will start off with five like five minutes on my own even if it's just a corner shop um then i know i don't like i isn't i done that is because when i do push myself to go and i need to go for like i don't know milk um i feel like i'm getting stared at i feel like i'm getting judged i feel like people are talking about me um etc and i just don't like it um so that's a goal and another goal i've done another goal but obviously i'll insert it here like what my goals are on it it does you can like listen to a calming voice to help well it helps me to relax and to relax so i you can click on a app that relaxes your anxiety or you can't like you can even and it talks to you to do this and just lay down and relax and think of a happy place after i got the happy place one from the app and yeah i would really recommend this if you like me and stuff like that it's really good helps with them in health um the next one is i currently don't have no more i used to have it but it didn't end up working for me in the end it's called breeze um 
you can record how you're feeling every day it's not like i said not my favorite app my, i think mind shift is my favorite app that i use like every day um but yeah i, I don't use it on my i don't have it on my phone but yeah if you like that then you can get it but for me personally it didn't end up working out i was gonna say for that one it, it is good but personally for me it didn't help next one is called keep up again there's another one i don't currently use anymore again personally for me it didn't work for you might work not for me um you use a tax like you can set a timer how long you like to do your breathing exercises for and it tracks your sleep as well like I sometimes i struggle when when my mental health is bad i struggle to sleep and um, so i need an app that will help me sleep mind shift does that as well okay i haven't tried that one yet and um, there's another one i'm not 100 sure i think i might still got this one it's headspace this is another one just like mind shift like you can use this to help um to help as if you can listen to a voice telling you how to meditate and how to live a happy and healthier life so Again, Hi. If I have it, then I'll Over the next 10 it. sessions, I'm going to then, show you a yeah. really simple way no, of getting some sure more headspace in your life. Just Don't worry if you've so never done it, anything the, like the, this before. This is a really so straightforward it. technique. Yeah. And that I'm going to talk you through every step of the way. Mindshift and my two favourite apps to use. Mainly Mindshift, I don't know why, but Headspace and Mindshift are my two favourites. The other two I liked, but they weren't my favorite if that makes sense but yeah that is everything that if you have any apps just bear in mind if you have any kind of app that also might help me can you like that give you to help live your mental health if you have mental health let me know down below what it is and i'll give it a try um it's the video really hope you enjoyed it um hope it helped some of you as well if you struggle like me, um, if you need anyone to talk to, and um, I know you probably don't want to, but because I'm a stranger to you, basically. Um, but you can drop me a message on Instagram, my Instagram and that down below. And yeah, I hope this video wasn't boring, like too boring for you. It probably would have been, but if it was, then please do not unsubscribe to me. Like I am trying to upload better videos for you. I really am but obviously i really want to do the video because yeah um so yeah if this was boring please don't unsubscribe for me because a lot of people do that like why don't like, don't please um um all my life reviews i want you to know everything what i'm like my mental health etc etc so i want you to understand me um but yeah please don't leave negative comments because you just get delete the comment just get deleted because i don't have negative comments it's all good comments that i like and that i read and reply back to yeah um i love all the viewers that watch me all of my subscribers everyone if I want to set a challenge because I'm at 129 subscribers right now and I'm a little bit stuck there. I want to go up. So I want to set a little goal for us. For my class here was family. Um, is let's try and get me to. Let's see. Let's start small first. 120. Let's go to 170 subscribers. Let's see if you can do it. And then once we hit that, I'll set another goal if we hit it anyway. But yeah, smash on the button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, comment like down below any apps that you use for mental health, and also comment down below how long you've been subscribed to subscribe to me, and um, what your favorite thing is about me, and. That's it. And I'll see you all next time on the video.